Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Somewhere in Nowhere. This map can be found over at ModHoster.com, and there will be a link in the description below. Uh, this is one of those maps that I've been looking at for quite a long time, and uh, just never did a video on. Uh, I would jump in, take a look, and pretty much decide, nope, not going to do a video. Um, but this version... Uh, looks really nice and uh, doesn't have any errors so here we are now the uh, mod author in the description suggests using the mod loco drive to uh, animate the train that's on the map the train has no functional use so there's no way to load it with grain and there's definitely no place to unload it so um, loco drive will just basically allow it to drive around the map um, or what little bit of the map that it does go through. And uh, we're going to run through the train uh, just for the fun of showing you how it runs through the map. Uh, but it also uh, runs around the outside of the map, uh, which can be quite an interesting little ride. So Loco Drive is a suggestion, but not a requirement. Um, let's see here. This map is Seasons Prepared. And a little bit about the, the map. Uh, you own all the fields. There are nine fields and two meadows. This is a mountainous landscape with many details. Uh, there's a sawmill sale for logs and wood chips. Uh, a couple different cell points. Uh, there are all three animals on the map and a BGA. And there's apparently a grain master and pig food star. I didn't see those in my first walk through of the map, so maybe we'll stumble upon those this time around. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Going to make sure all the DLCs are picked, and we're going to use just the um, gator today. Let's go ahead and check the log. And there you go. Map loads up very, very quickly. And the first thing we hear are some church bells. So we load up in town here at the vehicle shop and uh, you can see we've got a Christmas tree. This whole place is decked out for the holidays, uh, which I thought was pretty fun. So let's go take a look around here. And here we've got some holiday lights strung up across this road here. And let's just uh, got our Christmas tree over there with a... Uh, interesting ornament on top got some nice lights and we've got all kinds of there was a uh, ambulance we've got all kinds of really cool um, traffic on the map uh, above and beyond the normal traffic we see we've got the normal traffic here some pickup trucks and look there went a tractor run over there real quick uh, we, it's a fast tractor we can't keep up with it but there he goes and then we've got uh, trucks. Here's another. Here comes an ambulance. All right. So, so this map is probably a an edit off of a Goldcrest um, starter map because there is the resemblance of the American flag uh, that is so prevalent on Goldcrest maps. Nice, uh, nice campground here. There's lots of little details on this map to enjoy. Lots of little uh, mountainous passes here where you just have kind of roads, or rails, or, or, or lanes cut through. All right, well, let's get back to our normal schedule. So let's take a look at the map itself. That's a uh, smallish map. Let's... So we start here at the shop. And our main farm is up here. We have cows and pigs. And then sheep are over here, kind of off um, across a, uh, on another ridge, I guess. And then we have all our standard crops on the map. And of course, we own all the fields. So the fields are not viable. We have one main cell point for most of our crops. And then our root crops are over at the other cell point also have cell points for wood chips and wool. 
VGA takes manure, slurry, and silage. And then we have a cell point for a straw and grass. And we have two cell points for, I'm guessing this is straw, and I'm guessing these are hay pellets. Okay, and then um, I guess this is compost. Maybe, I'm not really sure what that is. So you can see we do have one thing that is leased. The pallet forks are leased. Everything else is owned. Let's go ahead and take out a loan. All right, and let's take a look. We got all three animal types, as I mentioned on the map. Uh, we don't own any of the particular animals. And our silo has zero capacity. That is because this map does not have a traditional silo. Instead, it just has a building set up for you to tip into. All right, let's go ahead and check out the starting equipment. Start with two tractors, the New Holland 8340 and the Dutzfar Agrostar 6.61. Range in horsepower from 125 to 143. Got uh, front loader arms and a bucket. Got the 1660 harvester and grain header with a header trailer. Got the small metal tech trailer uh, with a small cultivator, plow, and cedar. We got the ever so wonderful barrel weight. And then we've got another weight. And again, the pallet forks are leased. So go ahead and get our gator so we can drive around in style. And let's go ahead and reset that thing. All right, let's hit reset and see where it goes. The reset point is at the shop. So that is good to know. That's where we're going to start our tour from then. Let's run on back here to the shop. All right, let's do this before we do a tour. Let's tab into the train. And, okay. So, that's right. Train's out here in the middle of nowhere. But it's more not so much that the train's out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay. It's, uh, we gotta wait till the train gets into the uh, map proper. And then we'll be able to, uh, to just see how the train drives through the map. Drives through the uh, scenery. But if you ever want to drive through the, uh, through a map, here we go. Ready? Set? Go. There goes a the waterfall. All right, here we are. Overlooking a nice castle up here at the top. We're going to explore that. See how the map train comes through a tunnel. Loops around a turn here. We got this really cool canola field. Got a little train station. And then we enter another tunnel. And that's basically... That's how the train goes around. Just, that's all it does. So, loco drive would allow the train to basically do that loop. And, um, and everything. We're gonna run back over here to the shop. While we're here. Here by field three, this is the sawmill. Put your logs. Here is where you put your wood chips. We got a nice um, ambient sound of you know, the sawmill. Here comes a dump truck. This is another one of the uh, custom um, vehicles that are on the map. Uh, horses here galloping along on the hillside and we got a circus in town 
How cool was that? I think we got some sounds of the circuits if I uh, come around to the right spot. Get back to the shop so we can get back on track. All right. Good. On out here. And the first thing we'll do is let's drive around the uh, roads. There's lots of cool little details going on. Let's go this way. First off, here we have our cell point for eggs. This will be a cool little map to whip out during uh, Christmas if you're still playing Farm Sim uh, in Christmas. You, uh, play it because it's all decked out with holidays holiday uh, decorations and I, I want to try to remember to uh, fast forward this through till night and see if uh, anything else happens in town that would be pretty cool We're going to have to drive this way for a little bit till we get out of town because I just can't see. All right. Let's head on up this way. Circuits off to the right. Just going to stop here real quick. We've got these really cool footpaths and other things all around the map. This is going to take us up to the sheep area. Might as well just run on up there. Check that out. Here's the sheep area. This is where your wool pallets are going to spawn. And then you've got your water trough and your grass trough for your sheep. And then we got really cool animated gates. Walk up here, you click and hold. Top one goes, and then the bottom one goes. Really cool. This is where we're going to buy our sheep. This gate, right click. Yeah. Alright. Let's uh, head on up here. Another footpath here. Takes us up to the castle, which is kind of basically the high high point of the map. I don't overlook. I wish the map boundary was a little better. Um, it's a little weird looking. Got this is obviously the game map, and then that's the boundary. Can you move? Since the boundary is way off in the distance, everything moves um, kind of a little bit different rate. Tracks. Let's get back down to our gator. Here's over here. There we are blocking traffic. 
had pretty good frames on the map. It does look like there's mud here. Do you think there's mud on the map? I did have pretty good frames. I did have some pretty bad frame drops when I was looking at this crane uh, when I was first looking at the map. But other than that, it's been pretty steady. You run have to zoom in a little bit, guys, because I just am not going to be able to drive with all these trees and everything around. And we've got a really cool surprise up here to show you guys. Nice walking path across the road there. Lots of really nice details. It's very, very detailed. There goes the tractors. There goes the tractors. Turn on it. This isn't anything in particular. I thought this might be a cell point, but it's mistaken. Go on over here. This is the main cell point, I believe. Tip. Here's our wool cell point. This is the Bawa, I believe it is. Yep, and the Bawa takes everything but our root crops. As well as the wool cell point. Let's head on here. So here we have our animal dealer. And here is our bale cell point. A straw and grass. And over here we have our animal um, buy trigger. We can buy our animals. And as you can hear, we have ambient animal sounds. We've got uh, cows, pigs, and sheep are over here. Okay. Now if we look across the street here, we've got a pretty big... The big dig here, pretty big pit. This is just uh, deco. There's no real, uh, no real purpose for this. Just decoration. Really cool area though. This is the area where the train drives through. Came through here, then we went into that tunnel. Get back over here. Gator. And let's continue to make our way around the road here. And then we got what? We got some interesting um, road work going on here. But before we do that, let's go up and check out this road here. Quite the hill. This is going to take us up to a, a forestry area, I believe. The turn off over there to the right. Um, oh, we're outside the map. There we go. Now that's because I I'm using the uh, no camera collision mod. Uh, because, quite frankly, it annoys the bejesus out of me every time I get close to a tree and the camera wants to, like, zoom in. Um, it's just 
really annoying. Especially when we're doing uh, these types of videos. So we've got a, a little uh, monument there. Pretty neat. All right. And look, we... Oh, what happened here? Appear to have ourselves a uh, little bit of an accident. Hope everybody's okay. Look, I took out, I took out my own road sign here. It's a uh, twenty percent grade road change. That's pretty cool. So we've got a uh, had ourselves a little bit of an accident. This guy's interview on the driver. Tree and oh my, we got a guy, a little lady on a moped has fallen over. We're gonna take care of her. That's good. So here's that cool canola field. Got uh, check and see if these things have collisions. But uh, utility poles in the middle of the field. Oh, they do. No, they don't. It's interesting. Let's check this one. No, they don't. Okay. It newbie field, newbie field with uh, no collisions on the uh, no collisions on the poles. I think I hit a rock there that had a collision on it. Here's the tractor. I want to come around here and show you all the uh, the road construction because it's pretty cool how it's diverted. Diverted a lane, and then the uh, AI traffic does does divert the other way. So let's go ahead and uh, around here and get back going. T U R. We'll look around. So I thought this was a cool little map. Lots of little details, a nice little mountainy, mountainy area. There. I think this may be our uh, root crop cell point. Yep. There we got a tip for our root crops. Under the bridge. It's taking us, where is it taking us back? Let's see where this is going. Mountain church there off the road. Oh, this is the BGA. Okay. Like, where are we going? Here's the BGA. And interesting enough, this is where your harvester's parked. Kind of odd. Have your harvester and your uh, and everything parked up here. But at any rate, got our. Uh, this is where we sell our compost, or not our compost, but our silage and stuff. Here we have our digestate. Some general storage area for our equipment for the BGA. Oh no, here's our silo king. Here, that must be the cell point for uh, to, to sell manure. And then down around here, got our two silage bunkers. Pretty neat.
Harvester. Way up here at the top of the hill. Alright. Let's go on back down. And a little bit. But, oh my gosh. Getting the harvester down out of here is going to be fun. I have to tell you that. I have to go through here. I think the easiest thing to do would be to reset the harvester and trailer and the header back to the shop. <laughs> That would be the cheap way of doing it, right? Got a nice tunnel. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this detail. Got ourselves a burned out. Yep, there's the mud. Got a burned out uh, house here. It appears. An old. Uh, Old farm. The farmhouse got himself burned out. Sloops around into that field that we uh, drove through. Let's uh, head on back and drive through our uh, mountain tunnel. Upgrade some solar panels. Let's see where this is going. Oh, this is for what? Rock slides? To uh, prevent uh, rocks from falling on you, I guess. A mountain, mountainside hotel here. Oh, here we are now. Here we are. No wonder I didn't see this the first time around. So here is the Pig Food Star, and here is the Grain Master. The way this stuff works. Just bring grain in here, like your wheat or barley. And you get bags of whole grain coming out of here. And you take your little bags of whole grain... Bring them over here, and you put potatoes in top there, and you put your whole grain in, and water, and you get yourself pig food out of the side. So that's how this thing works. Here, I guess you can bring in, this is where you tip your potatoes in here to uh, just kind of store them. And you have to come up. Quite a little narrow mountainy road to get up here to make yourself some pig food. Really cool. I like this detail. Like the fallen tree here. It's fallen onto that uh, that thing. I I'm, I can only guess that that is for like you know rocks falling and stuff fall off you uh, onto you on. Or, well, hey, take a look at the truck here while well, it's stationary. Well, I hope you, uh, I hope you're not in a rush, dudes. I've been blocking traffic, haven't I? So there's the bridge that the train goes over, and here's our fuel. And we're now looping back toward town. 
you look at the PDA, you can see we've got our uh, sheep farm. Some tractors. Here is that uh, fallen tree. We've got ourselves a uh, waterfall up here. Nice mountainy path that takes us up into the uh, into the hills and just loops us around. Little benches all over the place. Really cool. And this is actually taking us up to the farm. Might as well just explore this by on foot. This is our farmhouse. We're all ready for Christmas. And there's our weights. There's a trailer. This is our... I'm guessing this is our water fill point. It's animated gates again. So here we have the water trough and the grass trough for our cows. And if we go in side here, let's see where the straw goes. Here we have our silage trough, which we would get to going this way. Oh, there's a kitty cat. We got a cat on the farm catching mice. Then we have our slurry and our manure pit for our cows. And then if we come up around here, this is our silo area. So we have silage bunkers, and this is kind of more modern, modern-y looking than uh, than the lower level. We've got silage bunkers here for our cow silage. And then the icon here is basically says, here is our silos. All of these have tip collisions, and this is where you're going to come and basically dump your grain. To uh, into these areas. This will just on around to the pig area. Water trough. Food trough, our um, liquid manure, and our solid manure pits. And this is where we buy our pigs. And when we come up here, we got a pump here that's, that activates to, uh, to help us pump our, our liquid manure. This is kind of the, uh, I guess this is kind of like a pig birthing area. Uh, our pigs are side here. And we got nice steps. Come up here to the uh, almost like the old farm, and then the area up there on the hill, and the pig area feels newer. It's like the new farm. Here to our chicken coop. Find our eggs somewhere running around here. All right, let's buy our let's buy our um, cows. A tractor and our cedar. Storage here. We've got our repair and customize. We got fuel up here. All kinds of cool stuff going on in here. It's our five point four. And the only thing that's a little freaky is that we got this guy constantly sitting here at our farm. All right, run back down here. This is the other way up to our farm. 
I'm guessing these little sticks on the uh, on the sides are kind of to help, like with snow, to delineate where the road is uh, when you got snow on the ground. So here we are. We're back down here to our campground. And then we got a cool little uh, little lake down here. Got our, the guy at the farm. He's got himself a twin down here. Fishing, some people out in the boats. Pretty cool. I like all this area. Oh, we got another. Oh, what happened here? Oh, look, we got a speed camera set up. <laughs> and we got a bus that's uh, off to the side to pick people up. Overall, I like the, uh, there's lots of really cool aesthetics and details on the map. I'm going to fast forward. I want to see what this place is. What these uh, Christmas decorations look at at night. You go over here, pull up our frames. I don't know what's going on here, but if I come over here, at least when I was looking around initially, if I come back here, my frames just plummet. Doing pretty good now. Back in this area, they would just plummet earlier. Now they're pretty now they're holding pretty good. Just gonna hang out here and wait for nightfall. So guys, what do you think of the map? Let me know in the comments. Uh what you think of the map. I think it's pretty cool. I uh, wish the uh, the boundaries were a little better. I don't know what the deal is with these black lines in the sky. Um, I guess it has to do with uh, the, the map boundaries and whatnot and everything. But uh, I wish I had manual fast forward. No, I don't know if I'm going to stand around here and wait however long it takes for this to uh, to speed up. Well, I guess I guess you all, if you're interested, you all can uh, can download this map and check it out yourself like i said it's over at modhoster.com and there's a link in the description so until next time guys happy farming